If you've ever considered switching to Linux but felt intimidated by the installation process, today's video is for you. Gone are the days when installing Linux required manual disk partitioning, deep terminal knowledge, and an encyclopedic understanding of networking. Modern Linux distributions have evolved to the point where installing a fully functional operating system can be as simple as downloading an ISO, creating a bootable USB, and clicking through a graphical wizard. In this video, we'll explore five of the easiest Linux distributions to install. Whether you're a complete beginner or simply looking for a hassle-free setup, these distros let you go from ISO download to a working desktop in 10 minutes or less. 1. Ubuntu Why Ubuntu? Ubuntu remains synonymous with beginner-friendly Linux. Developed and maintained by Canonical, Ubuntu's popularity stems not only from its extensive software repositories, but also from an installation process that has been refined over many releases. As of version 25th April, Ubuntu introduced a brand new installer called the Ubuntu Desktop Installer, which replaces the older Ubiquiti interface. This installer focuses on clarity and speed, reducing the number of clicks and eliminating confusing options that can trip up new users. Installation highlights point and click wizard. From selecting your language to configuring time zones and user accounts, every step is straightforward. Fast performance on modest hardware. For example, a virtual machine with three gigabytes of RAM and a dual core CPU, the entire installation can finish in as little as two to five minutes. On a typical modern laptop or desktop, you can expect the process to hover around the lower end of that range. Default settings work for most. Unless you require advanced disk partitioning, simply selecting Erase Disk and Install Ubuntu is safe and recommended. The installer also offers to download updates and third-party proprietary drivers during installation, so you're ready to go with a fully updated system when you first log in. Why it's ideal for beginners, Canonical's emphasis on an intuitive installer means that someone who has never used Linux before can follow the on-screen prompts without referring to documentation or online guides. Parents, grandparents, or kids helping a friend set up a Linux box will appreciate how straightforward this process is. Second, Zorin OS. Why Zorin OS? Built on Ubuntu's core, Zorin OS takes the same rock-solid foundation and dresses it up in a polished, Windows-like interface designed to put new users at ease. Given that Zorin OS continues to rely on the Ubiquiti installer, the installation steps closely mirror the older Ubuntu experience, which many still consider a gold standard for ease of use. Installation highlights, familiar wizard-style interface. A windowed installer guides you through keyboard layout, time zone, and user creation, much like installing a typical Windows or Mac OS application. Installer performance. On a modern desktop with a decent internet connection, you can finish installing Zorin OS in approximately five minutes. Slower hardware or networks might stretch that to around 10 minutes, but it's still incredibly quick. Streamline defaults. Select your language, choose whether to enable proprietary drivers or third-party codecs. Pick Erase Disk and install Zorin OS, set up your user, and watch the progress bar. Why it's ideal for beginners. Zorin OS's theme and layout are explicitly designed to feel familiar to newcomers migrating from Windows. By leveraging the Ubiquiti installer, Zorin OS keeps the barrier to entry extremely low. If you can follow a next, next, finish sequence, you can handle a Zorin OS installation. Third, Linux Mint. Why Linux Mint? When discussions about user-friendly Linux distributions arise, Linux Mint is practically a household name. Mint started as an alternative to Ubuntu with a focus on multimedia support and proprietary drivers straight out of the box. Today, it remains one of the most accessible desktop Linux options. Installation highlights, Ubiquiti-based installation. Just like Zorin OS and Ubuntu prior to 25th of April, Linux Mint relies on the well-established Ubiquiti installer. This means you'll recognize the exact same installation screens, language selection, keyboard configuration, and partitioning, which lowers the learning curve significantly. Minimal installation time. On reasonably modern hardware, you can go from bootable USB to a logged-in desktop in three to five minutes. That's possible because Mint's ISO is well-optimized for fast deployment, and the installer packages only essential desktop components by default. Step-by-step -step defaults. 
If you choose the Erase Disk and install Linux Mint option, the installer handles all partitioning automatically. In only a few clicks, you'll name your computer, set up a username and password, and let the installer do the rest. Why it's ideal for beginners, Linux Mint's reputation for stability combined with the reliability of Ubiquity means that newcomers rarely encounter issues during installation. Mint also enables multimedia codecs by default or prompts you on first login, ensuring that audio and video playback work without any manual configuration. Chtvrti, Pop OS. Approach Pop OS, created by hardware vendor system, 76 Pop OS began as a Linux distribution tailored for System 76's own laptops and desktops. It's based on Ubuntu, but differentiates itself with a custom installer, a unique desktop environment, Cosmic, and a focus on power user features like easy GPU switching. In 2025, Pop! OS continues to be praised for its polished installation experience. Installation Highlights Custom Pop! OS Installer Unlike distributions relying on Ubiquity, Pop! OS offers its own simplified graphical installer. From language selection to partitioning, every screen has an elegant, minimal design, consistent with the rest of the Pop! OS desktop. Installation duration. Similar to Ubuntu or Mint, you can expect 5 to 10 minutes for a complete installation. From the moment you select Install Pop! OS to the initial desktop login screen. On faster storage, SSD, and with a reliable internet connection, this often skews closer to 5 minutes. Automatic partitioning with flexibility. The default Erase and Install option handles all the details for you. If you're an advanced user wanting manual control over partitions, the custom Advanced Path exposes more options while still maintaining a clear, guided interface. Why it's ideal for beginners, Pop! OS doesn't overload new users with excessive questions. The installer's design philosophy is, ask only what's necessary and do it with clarity. Once the OS is running, the Cosmic Desktop Environment's intuitive workflow and keyboard shortcuts gently introduce you to more powerful Linux features without overwhelming you. Fifth, Elementary OS. Why Elementary OS? Elementary OS differentiates itself with a focus on aesthetic consistency and a macOS-inspired dock and menu system. It's built on Ubuntu LTS, long-term support, releases, ensuring stability, while its own Pantheon desktop feels cohesive from the second you boot it. Elementary OS uses a custom installer designed to match the immaculate look of its default theme. Installation highlights, beauty-focused installer, from the greeter screen where you test the live desktop to the final reboot after installation, every step feels like part of a carefully designed user experience. Questions are limited to essentials like language, keyboard layout, and disk setup. Quick turnaround, expect five to 10 minutes to complete the setup on contemporary machines. Even on average hardware, Elementary OS's streamlined installer and modest default package selection keep installation times low. Consistent UI experience. Elementary OS's installer uses the same icons, typography, and spacing that define the desktop environment itself. This consistency helps build familiarity and confidence. You can predict how system settings and applications will look once installation finishes. Why it's ideal for beginners. If you value a visually cohesive environment and want a Mac OS-like feel without the learning curve, Elementary OS delivers. There's no need to figure out which installer to use. The entire process is designed to be pleasantly predictable, allowing new users to focus on learning the desktop rather than wrestling with setup options. Conclusion and recommendations. In 2025, the Linux landscape has never been friendlier to newcomers. Whether you want a distribution backed by Canonical's massive community, Ubuntu, a polished Ubuntu-based spin with Windows-like familiarity, Zorin OS, a time-tested champion of multimedia and simplicity, Linux Mint, a beautifully designed desktop from a dedicated hardware vendor, Pop! OS, or a Mac OS-inspired environment with design cohesion, Elementary OS. You can have a complete Linux system up and running in under 10 minutes. Which one should you choose? If you want the absolute fastest installer and broad community support, start with Ubuntu 25.04. If you prefer an experience tailored to users transitioning from Windows, give Zorin OS a try. 
For a no questions asked, reliable Windows like setup with great out of the box media support, Linux Mint is unbeatable. If you're curious about a modern, developer friendly environment with specialized graphics support, Pop! OS makes it easy. And if you value a curated, aesthetically consistent desktop reminiscent of Mac OS, Elementary OS will impress you from install to login. Remember, none of these choices require you to write a single terminal command during installation. Just burn the ISO to a USB drive using a tool like Rufus, Belina Etcher, or the built-in USB writer on existing Linux systems. Boot from the USB, click through a few screens, and you'll find yourself inside a fully operational Linux desktop in about the same time it takes to make a pot of coffee. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video! Peace out, everybody! And don't forget I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye, have a wonderful day.